Hi, I am Pramod, a certified digital coach and consultant. Along with years of experience as a soft skill trainer and computer trainer. Contact me for digital marketing training, soft skill training and spoken English training. You can visit my website www.pramodthecoach.in Let's continue with the grammar lesson. So, video number 6 is the questioning. Apart from learning how to frame sentences, it is equally important for us to understand the art of framing questions as well. In this class, let us understand how questions are framed. What is a question? A question is basically a type of sentence which is expressed in order to ask something or about something or someone. It seeks a response, reply and information. We can say a question is an interrogative sentence. Whenever we talk about questions, the WH aspect comes on mind. There are different ways of asking question or framing one. When it comes to WH, we need to keep mind the six W's and one H. So let us look, look what are six W's and one H. The first W is what? The second is where, the third is when, the fourth which, the fifth why, and sixth who, and the H is how. So this is how we ask questions, what, where, when, which, why, who, and how. So first look at what. What is generally used for seeking information about something or somebody? For example, the common question is, what is your name? What are you studying? What is he doing? What is this? What is that? What time is the train? What time they done? What time do you have classes? What time your college starts? What time the movie starts? What time you come back home? What time your computer classes starts? What time your dance classes starts? What time you go to cricket coaching? What time you go to music classes? So like this, in general, to seeking information or something or somebody. The next is where. Where is used to talk mostly about the location of a person, place or thing. Example, where is Taj Mahal located? Where is he going? Where do you live? Where has Raj gone? Where is your house? Where is your college? Where is your computer institute? Where are they going? Where is he going? Where is Rama going? Where is your music classes? So where is the temple? Where is the church? Where is the theater? Where is the district stadium? Where is the swimming pool? Where is the nearest swimming pool? So like this, when you want to ask something about the location of a person or a place or thing, then we use where. Let's look at third W. Third is when. When is used to get information about the time the action occurred. So generally, when you want to ask about the event which has happened or the action which has happened, then we use when. When did Raj come? When is she going to Germany? When can I see you again? When is the train to Delhi? When is the manager coming? When is the branch office opens. When is this bus leaves? When is your college starts? When is your music classes starts? When is your computer classes start? So like this, when you want to know about the time or event, then you use when. Let us look at 
next w so next w is which which is used to obtain information which book are you reading which is your favorite food which is the best place to visit in winter which is ross back which is your favorite movie which is your favorite picnic spot which is your favorite country which is your favorite dress so like in such cases we use which let us look at next w so next w is why why is it used to ask the reason get the reason why is used to get the reason about something which has happened or if somebody has done something on someone it's all about finding the reasons why is the shop closed why are you so upset why is raj going to delhi why have you not called him yet why are you crying why are you laughing why are you angry why are you so sad why is your brother so sad why is your father so angry why did you come late why did you come late to the class yesterday why is your brother crying so when you want to know the reason when you want the opposite person to explain the reason then we use why then the next is who who is used to get information about a person or a group of people who are you who is ras best friend who is she talking to who is responsible for this mess who is your best friend who is your best teacher who is your favorite cricket player who is your favorite movie star who is your brother the one who is standing near the gate or the one who is standing near the entrance so to ask a information about a person or group of people we use who so we saw what is the use of who then why which when where what what where when which why who and the last is h how how is used to find the reason or information about the ways something happens or the way or manner someone behaves how does this work how is your sister feeling now how the weather is in pune how do they travel every day how did you fall down how it happened can you show me how to do this so if you want to ask a person to explain about a certain procedure for example now i am recording this particular lesson so if you want to understand how i recorded this lesson then you have to ask me can you explain me how to do the recording so that is how can you tell me how to make a payment through google pay so you want to know the steps that's why the how comes can you tell me how to drive a car can you help me how to drive a car can you please help me with this new mobile phone i don't know how to operate it please help me to operate so how is always to do how to do 
how something has happened to find the reason to find the information while framing the questions we need to keep the below structure in the mind a question format would be first wh then helping verb helping verb is is was are were models also and subject plus object so who wh is helping verb subject rama object beating so who is rama beating that means rama yarna hudita idare anta artha who is rama beating so first wh that is whether it is what where why when who after that helping verb that is is and are present was and were in the past if you want to ask something which has happened a one hour back or two hour back or maybe a day then you have to use was who was that that means you are asking opposite person use a someone maybe a one hour back or two hour back then you are asking the opposite person to whom you are talking to who was that person who was with you today morning you are talking in the afternoon you saw that person in the morning so you are asking who was that person who was talking with you in the morning or who are talking with you in the morning so wh helping verb plus is was are were are models it could be can could would those are called models in the next chapter we will study about the models then subject plus object we can still frame questions without the wh then the structure would be verb models plus subject plus object is he coming tomorrow so here there is no wh are they going to school have you written your test do you like mangoes does she read newspaper every day can you walk with me could you give me a glass of water will you come tomorrow shall we go for a drive so like this you can form hundreds of questions without using wh wh is for a different reason these are on a conversation basis on a day to day to day conversation basis we use these type of questions verb models plus subject plus object like have written test written is a subject test is a object have is a model verb does she read newspaper every day read newspaper newspaper reads subject read then does is a verb can you walk with me can you write for me could could is also a model verb could is a softer version of can would and could or polite way of making requests so in the next chapter we'll study about models models are kind of helping verbs words which help framing sentences and questions that is can could may might will shall would should do 
does this etc more of models in the following lessons thank you we'll see in the next lesson so please share this video comment and like and subscribe to the youtube channel thank you